I like scary. We are back. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm having an amazing day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So you guys, today we're gonna talk about some Scream Six uh, speculation and updates. Um, but before we get started, definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps. And um, yeah, you guys, uh, I'm gonna just touch on something that pretty much all of us know. Um, but out in the horror community, has been leaks with Scream Six. And, um, you know, with killers being revealed, like a whole piece of footage out there with the killer being revealed. Um, happily, I have not been spoiled. I want to keep it that way. But I won't be, you know, kind of engaging in comments until the film comes out. Because a lot of people I'm um, seeing are getting spoiled. And it's kind of unfortunate because, you know, we all are looking forward to this movie to find out the reveal, the plot, the storyline, and what's going to take place. And um, I just think it's very shitty that people are out there doing that, man. It just... It's no fun, man. Why why I like spoilers? You know what I'm saying? I just don't get that. I never got people that enjoy spoilers. It's just I, I just really don't get stuff like that. Personally, I like being surprised. That's just me. But um yeah, and it's also some um leaks out there that are, you know, basically not true. Now we got something, you know, a leak out there from my knowledge with something tying to Stu Mocker, you know, the Mocker family and everything, uh, from someone saying they saw the film and it's definitely that you know tie up with the mocker family and Stu mocker but uh i you know they're saying that it's not real and the person just passed on false information sadly but now it has everybody uh riled up to say yeah mocker is here you know Stu mocker we told you guys the connection and everyone's hyped and now it's getting but coming to get life you know that that false rumor starting to you know get some life and um some fire under it so uh yeah i'm hearing that that is very false you guys uh that potential rumor but also uh, we got some, you know, like I said, some spoilers out there with the actual footage of the killer being revealed. And, um, yeah, that's sad. I, I don't know how people are just, you know, doing this. this it's, it's insane when you think about it. But, yeah, if I were you guys, stay off like Instagram, Twitter, uh, you know, the YouTube comments, Reddit. Uh, it's everywhere at this point. So, um, but, yeah, you guys, as we dig deep, we get this picture of, you know, Kirby from this TV spot. Uh, with her holding the gun now as i kind of dive more you know into that subject with kirby i'm going to say you guys potentially kirby is going to die for sure and i kind of put it together it's okay we see sam actually have have this gun in the trail she's pointing it at someone right but we don't know who she's pointing it at but i definitely think this scene with tara and sam is going to be connected to that new photo we got from ign what Ghostface, you know, running, you know, got the curtains. And it, what kind of made me think about that is that projection you see behind Ghostface. Because you also see a projection uh, by Sam. So I'm like, that's definitely the area. Now, I don't know if it's before or after. But we also see a shot of Sam getting chased down this hall, right? And you see Ghostface behind her. So, and to me, that's like definitely an all connected in that same scene. And that's probably the final act, in my opinion. It's probably the final act. But, um... So I just feel like, you know, okay, if that's Kirby's gun, we see a poster with Kirby having that gun on her hip, right? Now, I touched on this in, um, you know, past video saying that basically either Sam or Kirby's the killer due to that gun being the connection with both characters. But now I'm starting to think maybe it's the fact that maybe neither one are Ghostface. Maybe, you know, Sam comes across Kirby's gun, sadly, because why? Kirby actually does not make it. She dies. You see, she has this bruise on her head. She's holding this gun, and it looks like she, you know, she's panicking. She's terrified. She has fear in her, and she's looking very scared. And it's definitely in a shrine because if you look next to her, uh, the shrine is right there uh, under her. You can see it clear. But um, I'm thinking, you guys, Kirby is out, man. Kirby's out. So I know a lot of people wanted to see her push forward and make it. But uh, I'm gonna just tell you guys the truth, man. I think Kirby's out. Uh, you can see it all in her face. Potentially a few moments after that, she's going to be out. Uh, she looks scared, possibly shooting at Ghostface. I won't even be surprised if it's one of those scenes where, you know, the lights are kind of dark. You can see in the picture and Ghostface is like running and she's trying to shoot. Maybe she's shooting, busting glass. And you can hear Ghostface running. He runs up to her. He stabs her, almost similar to the Dewey death. Uh, if Kirby, you know, when she dies, I just kind of want it to be like her getting her flowers. Uh, she's not, you know, big like, you know, Sydney, but she's a big character in Scream, no hated penance here. But I definitely think it should be like not a rush death, but I definitely think right here in this scene, she's going to die, guys. And right after this, potentially, I'm going to say that Sam's going to obtain the gun. Sam's going to obtain the gun because this is definitely the final act. You can tell they're all beat. If you look at um Sam's arm, she has a stab, like a slice on her arm. Kirby has a bruise on her head. I know people are out there saying that possibly uh, Sam hits her with the brick in her head. 
type of thing. But I'm guaranteeing you that Kirby's going to probably die right here in this scene. And Sam's going to obtain her gun. And that's how Sam's going to get that gun in that scene. Because Kirby's dead, guys. Um, or, you know, we can go real, real down a rabbit hole. And Kirby, we think she's dead. And Kirby gets up. And Kirby is Ghostface. And this, you know, and this leads up to Sam also still having her gun. But Kirby... She's dressed up like Ghostface. You know how the reveals go. Uh, it could be a lot of things playing. I still think that Kirby could possibly be Ghostface. I still think that Sam could possibly be Ghostface. Um, but uh, something else I want to kind of touch on is um, Dermot and uh, Henry Zerny. And I kind of thought about this. So we've been talking about these Ghostface cults and the mastermind. Whoever controls these cults has to have some type of power. But I start to think, like, what type of power? Not not, not even just the type of power, like, hey, I was Ghostface before. You know how Sam has Billy Loomis in her blood because that's her father. I started thinking, like, maybe it's the type of power if you can threaten somebody into doing something. You know what I'm saying? Almost like threatening them, pressuring them. Someone that has that type of power. So we know Dermot is, you know, um, working with the authorities. He's uh, FBI. And we know that uh, Z Henry Zerny. He's obviously a therapist, and you know he has power. Also, these these I'm thinking like who has power, and I'm like these two have power, Dermot and Henry Zerny. So the reason I said Dermot has power is because if you don't listen to him, he could simply plant something on you. He can do something to make you be arrested, lie on you. Who knows? He can just make your life a living hell, right? And Henry Zerny can have power because he's a therapist. People don't unload the dark secrets to him, told them you know their life and what they're going through, and he can use that. You know those secrets against that person for them to do things for him you know and i can see henry zerny actually recruiting people for this ghost face cult we've been talking about through you know him being a um you know a therapist a doctor whatever you want to call it. he can just be gathering maybe jack champions one of his patients maybe um leona liberato the queen character is one of his patients or anika and he's just like recruiting them you know tony revelori and and maybe he kind of talks to them and kind of threatens them like if you don't do this and you know be a part of this cult i will use this against you you know i'll air out secrets i'll air out things so i think that's why it could potentially be that who knows i mean maybe henry zerny and um dermot has some type of history maybe someone's connected to them they're bringing them together maybe you know we, we don't know they can be related in some type of way shape or form and they just come together and it's a big reveal at the end. Also with Dermont, like I said, he's with the FBI. He can definitely plant stuff on you, put you in a bad situation, make you look like you're a criminal, and get you booked. You know, and maybe it's people that he's arresting or something like that. And instead of taking them to jail, hey, I, I got a proposition for you. You can, but you know, be, become a ghost face in my ghost face cult and um, you're scotch free. Just got to do what I tell you to do. And um, I think that can work. I know it sounds kind of like just too easy, but it sometimes it's like that you know and we're all we're, we're, a lot of people are overlooking dermont and henry zerny but now it's starting to come like clearer and clearer that these guys can possibly be working together and um, running a ghost face cult because i actually watched screen five a couple days ago and something stuck out to me that was real clear when amber is about to die she says no 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 i was radicalized i just wanted to be a part of something that kind of confirmed the ghost face cult for me what do you want to be a part of you know and they they had, they had shitty motives when you think about it richie and amber they didn't have like you know a lot of the screen motives were kind of like weak but this one was super weak like it was that they wanted to make sure that the stab stayed on the same road and you know hollywood was jacking up horror films they wanted to make it better go back to legacy and everything so i'm like man it's definitely a ghost face cult involved you know um, we've been getting hints through posters. You got Ghostface rocking out in crowds at the bottom of the, the poster we uh, just got not too long ago. And um, something else I want to talk about, you know, basically we're going to kind of uh, brush through. It's going to do another video on it. But the stab music, you know, people are saying, are those props in the shrine real? Or are they just, you know, or, you know, are they fake? I said you guys would be either or 50-50. Maybe, maybe the props are, you know, fake through the stab music and it's something that they kind of put together for people to look at because be, because they have these scenes um, from the wrongfully accused musical that Gail created and they're like, hey, this is how it looked. This is how it looked. Or uh, they could have some way, shape, or form obtained the evidence, especially if Dermot is Ghostface. He's in the authorities and they put it out there and he's in control of everything. And I just don't know why I said this, you guys. If this shrine happens to be real, I have a feeling that the Ghostface cult out there, um, definitely a couple of them might be in this um, stab musical, and they might steal these props to keep the story real, like down to the T. Like I have the real Billy Loomis robe on. I have the real Stumaka robe. You know, like doing stuff in legacy, in honor. 
you know, um, I definitely think it can be something like that, you know, now it's starting to make me think we're, I don't know if I'm a fan of that, like, us getting new Ghostface characters that don't have any connections to the past, they're just doing it to do it, you know, um, we heard uh, Ghostface tell Gail he's something different, you know, um, maybe they just kill, you know, kind of keep Stab on the right track, I don't know, but I definitely know that Kirby's dead, for sure, just off the fact that Sam's getting that gun, maybe she get, grabs it off the floor when Kirby dies, and I know possibly whoever's running this Ghostface cult has to have some type of power. And when I think power, I think Dermot, Henry, Zerny, or someone like Sam, because Sam has Billy Loomis' blood and her blood. People are going to listen because the legacy of her dad. So you guys definitely comment down below what you guys think about everything we just touched on. Be safe out there with them spoilers. Seriously, man, I will not probably be checking the comments due to that. Uh, so, yeah, you guys, unfortunately, in the, the video, don't forget to hit me on my social media. I like scary on Instagram, I like scary 77 on TikTok, but now on Facebook, I like scary on Twitter. And yeah, you guys, right there where it says subscribe next to so a quick join to become a member of the channel. And yeah, you all check out the Patreon, get exclusive content and benefits of the channel. Watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace.